Whew. Hey guys, bike blogger here. On my way to work. It is a Tuesday, uh, January 20th, I think. 2015 been a few days since I've done one of these vlogs I had an idea for the topic today but um, I might be doing a different topic Tempted to go. Better safe than sorry. Alright. My shoes are a little loose because uh, I usually ride with a bunch of socks, but it's uh getting up to the 50s degrees Fahrenheit today and uh, decided to only wear one pair of socks and I'll probably readjust my shoes when I get to work I like a more tighter fitting shoe feels almost one size too big Anyway, topic for today is uh, lost items. I misplaced one of my gloves. I was gonna wear uh, thinner gloves today, although now that I realize it's just above freezing, I'm sort of glad I wore these beefy gloves. Ooh. Hate losing items. I think I might actually dropped it outside. I have one of the gloves, not the other. chilly twenty one miles per hour Busier today than it was uh, last Friday. Oh man, I'm waking up now. Got my heart beating. Whew. It's nothing like a bike commute to work to get the blood going. Still rather cold out. It's January, what am I saying? It's supposed to be cold. Okay. 
<sighs> All right, topic of today, lost items. How best to find your lost items? Retrace your steps. A lot of people say do that. I would recommend that. Uh, in the case of a glove, like myself, something small, I'd check all your bags, all your pockets, all your coats. But don't you just hate that, you know, losing something and not being able to find it. They got things like for your keys, I think, that will, uh, if you have some sort of uh, alarm system or something attached to it, and you have the alarm system, you haven't lost that. You can make it make a noise and maybe you can find it. I'm sure there's, uh, there are phone apps for finding lots of lost items as well. It's an app for everything. <clears throat> um, so yeah, it stinks that I lost that glove. I have an idea where I might have dropped it though. Like I said, so we'll see if it's still there when I get back to work. Because uh, the weird thing is, uh, I thought I saw it. I mean, I saw like a, I think what was a glove, you know, just lying out. I just think one glove, like someone forgot it, probably me. And I didn't bother to check it. And I, of course, didn't pick it up because I didn't think it was mine, but I think it actually might have been mine. But that was yesterday, so by now it's probably, uh, it's probably gone. So that stinks. I got one glove, and of course you can't buy individual gloves at, you know, half price. I'll have to buy a whole new pair. They're not that expensive, but, you know, they're, they're probably 20 bucks, you know. That's a lot of money. So that stinks. I need to get them too, because once it starts getting really cold out again, I'm gonna wanna, you know, layer up with my gloves again. Today I'm just wearing a single pair of uh, these thick gloves. So if you've been watching any of my videos you uh, in the past, you're probably noticing I'm going a different way to work again today in my most recent video. Trying out new things, you know. Uh, this way is pretty nice once you get down the larger road, the beginning of this commute, because you can pretty much just, uh, you know, you got pretty smooth sailing down a bike path like this. Past uh, some other big intersections. I do know though that uh, I have seen people on this uh, path walking dogs and stuff. You know, because I mean it connects a couple communities and there's a park back there. So this isn't really a bike path as much as it is a uh, multi-use trail that I'm on right now. Which is fine, it's just uh, gotta watch out for uh, people and their dogs. Ah, crap. 
<laughs> I can curse. It's, uh, it's YouTube. Um, missed that light. So I was looking online. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to make a right into this big road and then make a left. So let's see how this works out. I was looking on it, or looking on uh, Google Earth. Looks like I can cut back here. Look at that. Look what I just did right there. See, always finding shortcuts. cut up here too. Wouldn't really recommend this. Seems a little dangerous. If I slipped and fell, I'd fall right out into the street. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend that. The big benefit of that though was I uh, avoided having to stop. No one likes to stop. No one, in no one on bikes, no one in cars. But that was nice. Problem is the way I went there, underneath that overpass, or that bridge is that uh probably a lot of broken bottles and stuff back there pop a tire ruin your day so we'll find out if i find that glove uh i'm a little hopeful I think there's a 50-50 chance it's still there. We'll see. On Sutton Boulevard right now. Almost done with my commute. This is where I uh, usually link up. So, in that note, thanks for watching.